going to be sharing my pre-studying routine that I use to prepare for each of my study sessions. I find that having a consistent routine like this one helps me ease into the mood of studying and sets me up for success during that study session. Along with showing you the ideal version, you know, what I'm doing on my perfect days, I also want to show you some of the more realistic and attainable ways that I tend to accomplish the same goals on days where I'm just feeling less energetic and motivated. If I can get on my soapbox for one quick second though, like one thing I really don't like that has emerged on the internet recently is the idea that being realistic is just having a horrible day and that everyone who's having a good day is somehow lying to you. Yeah, I of course want to acknowledge that nobody is perfect and I want to be forgiving of myself when I don't have a perfect day. But also my entire goal in life is to just get my realistic version of a day as close as possible to the ideal version of a day until the ideal is in fact my everyday reality. And that's that's enough philosophical waxing about life, let's just get on to the pre-studying routine that you're here to see. In an ideal world, I would channel some inner barista training that I don't have in any way. I'd pour my oat milk into my green tea in a beautifully smooth, slow-mo fashion and the milk would just swirl right in there, just like those videos that I keep seeing on my TikTok for you page. And of course, I'd have a marble countertop with sunlight streaming in through the windows and making everything sparkle. But in reality, I do not have a marble countertop. This is my bathroom. And I normally don't find the time in the mornings to make a beautiful, complex, yet tasty drink. Instead, I just brew a cup of tea with my Costco tea bags, or usually more like an entire water bottle of tea because that is definitely the amount of caffeine I need to get me through my study session. While I'm waiting for that caffeine to kick in, the next thing I do is clear my mind and connect with my physical existence. Yes, unfortunately for my fellow introverts, we do in fact have to exist on this mortal plane as human beings. We're not just purely intellectual study machines. The ideal way I'm trying to work towards is taking some time to do a guided meditation practice and I'd also like to incorporate a more extended stretching routine into my morning. I know this makes me sound crazy, but I do like to run and exercise. And I find that in the mornings, my muscles and joints just tend to be kind of stiff. So I would like to stretch those out in order to feel better and avoid getting injured. However, on most days, what I usually end up doing instead to accomplish the same things, but with less time and less effort, is to take a few deep breaths just to like stretch out my rib cage. That's definitely not what's like actually happening in my thoracic cavity, but you know what? It makes me feel lighter and brighter on the inside and helps to clear my head. So I do that. And instead of doing my ideal stretching routine, most days I kind of just end up cracking my knuckles, cracking my old lady knees and stretching them out a little bit with some wiggling. It's not exactly the beautiful houseplant sunlit room yoga mat aesthetic that I'm going for, but it does the job. The next step after clearing out my internal space is to also clear up my external physical space. Ideally, this just wouldn't have to be a thing I spend approximately 10 minutes on every morning because I would just put everything away in its spot immediately after using it, Marie Kondo style, but that's just not really how I am to be honest. So during my work periods, I'm just doing things as fast as I possibly can and just dropping things once I'm done with them. And I tend to be really tired at night and much more energetic in the morning, so I tend to clean things up first thing before I start my study sessions. A lot of us are never taught how to clean, so I honestly might do a video about that sometime in the future, but basically most mornings I just put objects back where they belong. Next, it's time to set up the appropriate background noise for any study session. First of all, do not watch TV or listen to YouTube videos while working, um, cause I sometimes do that and I regret it every time. What I prefer to do instead is listen to instrumental music or just any nice soothing background noise that doesn't have any words in it. Lately, I found this nature lo-fi playlist, which is chill lo-fi music with nature sound, which is perfect. Literally my ideal studying vibes. I'll link it in the description or I'll usually just go for any sort of chill lo-fi playlist. Now that I set up the visual and the sound and all of my other senses to have the appropriate vibe input, my next step is setting my intentions for this study session. 
In the ideal world, which is usually set up by my meditation earlier in the morning, I would do a more intentional and mindful activity for this. Maybe a journal entry or something like that to focus on my positive intentions and to set my priorities for that day. What I usually end up doing is organizing my hourly plan by checking my Notion setup, which is what I've been doing after quitting bullet journaling, and my Google Calendar. My new digital planning system is kind of hard to explain in this short video, so let me know if you'd like to see more details about my new time management setup in another video. My next step is to prepare my materials, and in this particular case, my ideal and my realistic days are exactly the same, so go me, that's a real pat on the back moment. But anyways, my process is pretty streamlined, since my stuff is normally quite organized anyways. I don't really have to take stuff out and leave it in a pile next to me. I can quickly and easily just find stuff and take it out when I need it, thanks to my fantastic organizing skills, not to toot my own horn too much. But a couple of steps that I do need to take are connecting my keyboard and my mouse and my other Bluetooth wireless devices to my laptop. And I like to fill my water bottle in advance because if I don't, I'll either dehydrate myself because I'm too lazy or if I'm procrastinating, I'm gonna get up and fill my water bottle and use that as an excuse to be distracted for like an hour. My final step is starting my blocking Pomodoro timer. I have the Flora app on my phone and the forest free Chrome extension so that I can block out distracting websites and apps on both my phone and my laptop. With that, it's time to fill up those 50 minutes with work and just get started on my studying for the day. I hope you found this video helpful and perhaps it'll inspire you to actually just stick to a routine instead of beating yourself up for not doing it perfectly every single day. Also, if you have helpful tips to include in a study routine, be sure to leave those in the comments below. I upload new videos about student life on this channel every week, and you can visit my TikTok, my Instagram, and my second channel for other sometimes study-related content. See you next time!